More than 10,000 felony cases a year here in Wayne County. Tonight, we're exposing a troubling trend, making the streets more dangerous and the jobs more difficult for police. In this terrifying surveillance video, someone stopping to fill up at a Detroit gas station is robbed at gunpoint. Shockingly, police say less than 48 hours later, the man holding that gun was released back on the streets. I just put it this way, it's horrifying. Ex-con, he's a habitual offender, he's got a gun, and he gets out of jail for $200. What goes through a criminal's mind when they are given a low bond and set free? There's no incentive for that person not to commit a crime. Detroit Police Chief James Craig calls it an alarming problem that puts Detroit's most violent criminals back on the streets after police have risked their lives to arrest them. He says overall, crime in Detroit has been trending downward the past three years. Only police can't do the job alone. But let's talk about the courts, the low bails. Craig says gang members with guns, carjackers, and armed robbers routinely receive lower bail in Wayne County compared with neighboring counties. Oakland, Macomb counties, they seem to get it right. I mean, so, that's our neighbors. If you have, for example, a felon in possession of a firearm and you give them an extremely low bail that's out of sync with the rest of the world, that's a problem. That's what happened in the video we showed you earlier. In December, Judge Dalton Roberson Sr. released this suspected armed robber on $1,000 personal bond despite prior gun offenses. We ended the year last year with the lowest number of non-fatal shootings in well over 10 years and less than 1,000. But that's still too many. In another case, on May 14, 2016, Craig says a felon armed with a gun got out for $2,000, then set fire to his girlfriend's house. Not to mention countless other habitual offenders getting out and threatening victims' family members and intimidating witnesses. Are you familiar with any instances where someone was given a lesser bond and actually went out and committed another crime or uh, threatened or intimidated a witness? Sure. These are judgment calls that judges have to make. Presiding Judge Timothy Kenny oversees criminal cases in Wayne County. He supervises 24 judges, plus an additional nine visiting judges or magistrates on the bench for weekend arraignments at a rented facility in Romulus. He admits the system is flawed. I'll tell you what I think would uh, improve things um, significantly would be if there was a defense attorney there to represent the interest of the defendant and a prosecutor there to argue on behalf of the prosecution. Kenny says oftentimes judges are alone in the courtroom and during video arraignments sometimes forced to go on limited information. When you hear the chief make these kind of statements, are you troubled by them? There's no judge that wants to put a dangerous person out on the street. The magistrates are dealing with limited information. But still, there's a file. And does a file not have, and this is a person who has a pretty substantial history, and now Detroit police have arrested him with a weapon, and the response is $200? Chief Craig says to do his part, he's already making more officers available to appear in court even on the weekends. But ultimately, fighting crime requires a partnership between police, prosecutors, and judges. How about the rights of our victims and the people who live and work play in this city? We also reached out to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office for comment. So far, they are choosing to stay out of this. Simon Chaquette, 7 Action News.